I've got the only strategy that you need to keep your students engaged and close those learning gaps that we're all seeing inside of our middle school math classrooms. If you are a middle school math teacher, keep watching because I'm spilling the secrets. If you are new around here, my name is Kathy Martin and I help 6th, 7th, 8th grade and Algebra 1 math teachers experience more aha moments and save time with lesson planning and resources. So what is the secret to closing those math learning gaps that we're all seeing? The secret, math stations. When you use math stations, you are allowing yourself to work in small groups of anywhere between four to six students. During your station time, you're able to focus on areas of weakness, review math concepts, or dive deeper and build bigger connections with more advanced math concepts with those students who might need it. Station time allows you to easily differentiate. It's probably the best reason to use stations and why it is most effective because when you use stations, you're able to differentiate by being able to work in small groups. That means you're able to take a group of four to six students, work on whatever skill that those group of students need, and then move on. Then you're gonna grab the next group of students who might need different help, different support, um, you know, and, and be able to work on that. So you really are allowed to dive deeper with the small group instead of your, your overall group of, you know, 25 to 30 kids where you have, you know, if you're talking your whole class, you might have half the class who don't need that, who might who don't need that support or who don't need that advanced math strategy, right? But when you are using small group, you can really talk specifically to that very specific group of students that you are working with. You can also differentiate by differentiating the actual tasks that you're using in those specific groups. Typically, when I run stations, I don't have like four or five groups running at the same time. It's usually four, four different stations or four stations. They're not all different activities. I will usually have at least two different activities going plus my own teacher station. So those particular two um, station activities that I have going at the same time that I'm working with students, might one might be an activity that they are um, learning currently about in the classroom. So let's say we're talk we're we just got into the topic of systems of equations by substitution. So one of the activities I might have at my station is all about substitution, um, you know, systems of equations by substitution. But then the other activity might be a review activity about integers. And you might be thinking, well, if you're already at systems of equations, why would you be doing integers? Well, because our students always need integer practice, right? I want to really bring back some of these concepts that we haven't really talked about in a while. Yeah, we're, we're doing integers practice while we're practice while we're working on system equations for sure you know but some of these concepts they might not have seen in a while in it's on its own and hey let's be honest state testing is going to come so for us to be able to practice all of the skills all throughout the year it's an amazing opportunity and it's an it's the amazing power of stations because i don't have to give my struggling students like something easier, right? Because, hey, we're all doing this. And the final thing I wanna say about being able to differentiate is you can use a variety of activities. It is not the same boring turn to page 47 in the textbook and answer questions one through 15. Like you don't have to do that. I can utilize task cards. I can utilize coloring pages. I can utilize you know, um, technology and use ver a variety of activities that are my students can use on the computer. So this taps into all different types of learners that we have in the classroom. And that is hugely powerful too, because not every kid, as you know, is going to thrive in an environment where they have to turn to page 47 and do questions one through 15. The other thing that is amazing about stations and why stations is something that 
we all should be using is it really promotes student independent learning because students have to work independently. And if you're thinking, oh gosh, this would never work in my classroom, the kids would never work independently, it does work, and but it does take training, okay? Um, students have to assess their own work. They have to assess where they are at. They have to ask themselves, did I finish the work? If not, why? If I did finish the work, why? Is it because I understand it? Is it because I rushed through it? it this gives them the opportunity to self-reflect, which I don't think we do enough of. Um, and I know sometimes, it, and that's a life skill that we have to really teach. So why not start in the classroom? And it, it allows this independent learning because it focuses on one activity for a short amount of time. We're in our stations anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes, depending on you know um, how long of a class period that we have. So you, they're not sitting for an hour or they're not sitting for 50 minutes doing the same boring task. They get to get up and they get to move. So they're, they're really focused on a short amount of time, which really helps promote that independent learning. It, you, this is making you go, hmm, I wanna get this, go this sounds great. I wanna get this going in my classroom, but I don't even know where to begin. This sounds really overwhelming. It sounds great, but like my, my kids can't do it. Like I promise you they can, and I promise you it will not be a dumpster fire, okay? Because I've been there. So if you wanna learn more, check out the next video where I'm gonna share everything you need to know on how to use math stations. But wait, if you're wanting to dive deep, if you're wanting to implement, join us for our next free training where I'm gonna show you everything that you need to make stations easy, to make it realistic so you can avoid the dumpster fire and you can get started right away. And you'll be even able to print a certificate for one hour of professional development. There's a link below right in the description box that you can just pick a date and time right now to join us at our next training. I cannot wait to see you in our next video. Bye for now.